Susanna J. Dodgson, back again in Harley Cemetery. It's November 10th, 2022, um, which is the anniversary of the death of Campbell Lindsay Smith, who died behind German lines <clears throat> on this day in 1915. He was the first husband of my grandmother, who became Mrs. Dodgson. However, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because Father Doyle died last week, the day after I walked through the, the cemetery and uh, took video. Right opposite, we're looking at Lady of Lords Hospital. I was there all morning. They're trying to find out an odd <laughs> symptom that I have. They did not succeed, but they were wonderful. And, um, you know, we all die in the end. You have to die of something. Father Doyle died on Saturday and I just heard from the grave people that he's going to be buried here on this site right next to Nick Virgilio's grave and nothing could make me happier. He, um, Nick Virgilio was known because of Father Michael Doyle and Father Doyle paid for Nick's funeral and all the expenses. And I understand there's three, there's three grave sites here. There's Nick's, and then one in the middle, and then one at the end, which is uh, Father Doyle. And, um, wow, I, <laughs> I, I never thought it was possible to get excited over a grave, but um, this has done it. Someone's left uh, chrysanthemums. They weren't there last week, and that clearly is because of Father Doyle. Yeah. I tell you, when something resonates with you, the genius of, of Nicholas Virgilio, with the compassion and activism of Father Doyle, I mean, that's just magical. And I have been reading all day, Mere Christianity, which I've been reading on and off the past couple of weeks, um, C.S. Lewis, and uh, everything's starting to fit in place. C.S. Lewis died on the same day as um, President Kennedy. So his funeral wasn't a big deal. And um, he's best known for the Narnia series. But he was also very possibly the number one Anglican theologian of the 20th century and a good friend of uh, J.R. Tolkien. Um, we all find the divine and goodness in our own way. It is not natural for me to be a great supporter of the Roman Catholic Church, but I am. I mean, my mother was born in Belfast. I was christened in the Anglican Church in Belfast. One of my uncles was the Attorney General of Antrim NMR and brother-in-law of the last Prime Minister of Northern Ireland. So if anyone would uh, be upset with Catholics, it would be me, except of course I'm not. I, um, why would I be? Anyone knowing the history of Biafra is very supportive of, of the good the Catholic Church do. This is, this is the sort of thing C.S. Lewis talks about, the good and the bad. Catholic Church does so much good, or individuals do so much good. How much good did Father Doyle do? And the Lady of Lords. The Lady of Lords was built by Franciscan nuns in Allegheny County, <laughs> looking at Camden and saying, ha, huh, they need a hospital, and they built it. And the Franciscan nuns were there for decades. I remember them. And um, they, were, they were good people. Some of them were doctors, some of them were, no, uh, were nurses, some of them were administrators. But they were good people. And uh, I think being a Franciscan nun must be a pretty terrific thing. 
So here we are looking at this gorgeous lake again. So for all eternity, at least until New Jersey is underwater, Father Doyle and Nick Virgilio will be looking out at the lake. How absolutely spectacular is that? So what happened to Campbell Lindsay Smith? I don't know what happened to his body. He, he died by himself, according to the Commonwealth Graves Commission. He died by himself in Belgium. There was no battle. Um, was he an artist for the British Army? Maybe. Was he a spy? I don't know. But I don't know what happened to his body. But I do know that what he left behind was some pictures that we can still see. Portraits. Two Corbys. Leaving a mark on the world. Most of us don't. <laughs> but Campbell did. And so did Nick Bedilio. And Father Michael Doyle. I'll come back and I'll make a video of the grave, of his grave when he's buried. I'm, I'm not quite sure when the funeral is. I imagine the funeral will be massive. Susanna J. Dodgson, November 10th, 2022. As we <coughs> are still trying to find out whether the, whether democracy or chaos controls the American Congress. Thank you for watching this. May you be blessed.